Right, President Biden's proposal for the IRS to monitor bank accounts would impact far more people than his administration actually claims. That is according to a bipartisan congressional committee that says tens of millions of Americans could be spied on if that plan went into effect. Let's bring in President of Americans for Tax Reform, Grover Norquist. Grover, it's been a while. Welcome. Good to see you. Good First see of all, you. where do you stand on this issue to begin with? Is there ever a reason why the IRS should be snooping on Americans' tax uh, bank accounts. No. What Biden wants is to be able to look at your bank account and then hold that data forever. They're not peeking because they've got a warrant. They're just looking at anything they want. He said it was just for rich people. Well, the Joint Committee on Taxation looked at it and said, about 87 million people, and that's a low estimate, it could be much higher, 87 million middle class people making less than what Biden said he'd never bother, 87 million will lose their privacy permanently. That's your Venmo account, that's your PayPal. And when they look at what goes in and out of your bank accounts, they need to know how many bank accounts you have, and when they're there, do they look to see what you buy? Yeah. Maybe not at first. I mean, we're Maybe already after. living in a world where all of our personal information is compromised, yeah. and now the government wants access to our bank accounts. Uh, to your point about the numbers that the Joint Committee on Taxation came up with, mm. they estimate 87 million Americans earning less than $400,000 mm. will see their account information reported to the IRS. That accounts for 59% of the 148 million U.S. taxpayers earning less than 400000 Tell us your concerns about the slippery slope. If they get access to this, they can snoop out our bank accounts. They get that information. They see what we're doing. What's next, Grover? Well, we can look back and see what the IRS has already done. It was exactly six months ago that we learned that the, that the IRS had given or leaked the data on tens of thousands of Americans, their audits, their, their audits, I mean, everything about them, yeah. to a left-wing group, ProPublica or whatever, is it, but it's a left-wing right. group, that then targeted and went after people leaking this stolen uh, I don't know who stole it, whether ProPublica stole it or some IRS agents stole it. But this is not something that could come from one person. This was a huge project to steal this much data. It went out six months ago, we were told, by the head of the IRS, who was testifying six months ago uh, today. You know what? Uh, we're going to be on top of this. And then since then, nothing. Crickets. Yeah. No arrests. And, and all of this, by the way, this analysis that we eventually got was in response to a question from Jason Smith, a Republican, who asked the tax scorekeeper to see how many Americans the policy would actually mm -hmm. encompass. And now we're starting to get a look at the real numbers here, saying, quote, is it fair to assume that an hourly W-2 worker who also drives Uber on the side or sells on eBay would have all of his or her income subject to scrutinization, severely punishing Americans for nothing more than working hard and trying to provide for their families? He wrote this in a, a letter dated November 2nd. And here we are. So now that there's more transparency, do you believe this will actually go through? Well, the more people look at this and the longer it takes, this is why it's a good idea for Congress to sit down and, as Senator Manchin has said, let's take a breather, look at what's in this legislation. The advocates of the legislation, Pelosi and Biden and Schumer, want to pass it, pass it, pass it, pass it. Pass it. Don't read it, pass it. Don't read it, pass it. Don't show it to the American people, pass it. Uh, I mean, how much do the American people know what was in the bill that passed in the House? They rushed it through very quickly. The longer we have a chance to look at it, the more likely it is we'll take it out. But remember, all of those things that have been taken out of the legislation, and this is one of them, they said it, is just set to the side. Mm -hmm. It could come back tomorrow morning. It could come back at 3 in the morning when they, when they pass one of these bills. Just because it's taken out today doesn't mean it's gone away. Biden wants access all the time. Yeah to your bank accounts. So does Pelosi. And so they say Schumer. their reasoning, of course, is they want to cut down on ch tax cheats, and this is the way that they want to go about it. And they are repeatedly defending this plan in the face of obviously a lot of criticism, not just from Americans, but from the banks themselves. They wrote in a memo to congressional Democrats that requiring banks and financial institutions to provide a, quote, little bit of high level information to the IRS on account flows gives the agency more information about wealthy Americans. 
Americans' earnings from investments and business activity. Let's just be clear what is already on the books, Grover. As you know, banks are already required to report any individual transaction that exceeds $10,000 to the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network. There are already rules and regulations on the book books that would cover such high-level transactions. Yeah. And what they want is to go after other people. The IRS has made it very clear that the $80 billion that Biden and the Democrats want to give to the IRS to hire more auditors to harass people, that they're going to use that to increase audits of small businesses by almost 50 by 50 percent. That's who they're targeting. Biden says rich people. The IRS tells you out loud middle class, mm. small businesses, that's the target. The very people they say they're set, setting out to help. Yep. Uh, appreciate it, Grover. Thanks for the conversation. Good to be with you. You too. Mike, it's, I, we'll, we'll see. I mean, I, I don't know if this is inevitable, but I mean, there's a lot more transparency now as to who exactly would be targeted in this, and it is not just the uber wealthy and the rich. Sandra, during the Obama years, I did a million stories on the IRS right. targeting conservative groups seeing non, seeking nonprofit status more power for the IRS makes a lot of folks really nervous. And, and really upset.